In today's lesson, our topic is prepared for the storm. And our Bible lesson is taken from the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. As seen in today's Bible reading, the Holy Spirit often uses the characteristics of storm figuratively to teach about human situations. I therefore believe that understanding the nature of storms will help us triumph over the challenges of life. In the physical realm, storms are violent disturbances of the atmosphere, usually accompanied by rain, strong winds, thunder, lightning or snow. Approaching with high speed, storms often render their victims virtually helpless, leaving them with few or no options in terms of defense or counter-attack. For this reason, storms can leave behind a trail of dis destructions of life and property of catastrophic magnitude. The good news is, irrespective of their nature, God has control over storms. Even the strongest storms are subject to his authority. What type of storm are you facing today? What is the storm that is destroying your life? What is the storm that makes you not to sleep at night? My brothers and sisters, listen very well. Our God Almighty will help you and the storm will be over in Jesus' name. Amen. In the book of Nahum, chapter 1 verse 3 declares that the Lord has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm. And several other passages of the Bible, God has walking on the wings of the wind and riding on storms. 2 Samuel 22:11, Psalm 18:10, and Job 38 verse 1 tells us that God answered Job out of the whirlwind as though he had been recurring there. And in Mark 4, 39, I mean, a terrible storm, Jesus Christ arose, rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace be still. In obedience to his command, the wind immediately ceased, and there was a great calm in the name that is above all other names. I command every raging storm in your life to cease now in Jesus' name. Amen. Since little or nothing can be done to neutralize a raging storm by way of prevention or defense, the Holy Spirit teaches that the wise thing to do is to prepare for it. Preparing for the storms of life ranks so high in importance that today's Bible clarifies all of my kind according to their preparedness. The well-prepared ones are taught wise, while the unprepared are called foolish. You will be prepared. You will never be unprepared in Jesus' name. Note that both the wise and foolish will be subjected to the adversity of the storm and no one will be exempted. You therefore need to be adequately prepared for the storm by holding on to Jesus, who is a shelter in the storm. Jesus Christ is a shelter in the midst of the storm. God will deliver you from every storm of life in Jesus' name. My brother, my sister, whatever you are going through today, you look at your front, at your back, no help. What I want to tell you now is that Jesus is alive. He will help you in all areas of your life. In every storm you are facing today, Jesus Christ is there. Rejoice. Rejoice, my brothers. Rejoice, my sisters. It is well for you. It is well in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Happy New Year.